Hello, my most amazing fourth grade artists. Today we're going to be working on a print called a choreograph. We talked about it a few weeks ago in class, but I'm not sure that everybody in your class got a chance to make one. So today for our lesson, I'm gonna start us off by walking us through what's on our tray and then showing you how to make a choreograph. We'll probably not finish it today, so we'll be storing our work inside of your folder for tomorrow. All right, let's take a look at our tray here. Each team today is going to get a blue tray and on your blue tray is enough for your class plus the next class if you're my first class. You'll see thin strips of white paper. You'll see thicker pieces of white paper. By thick, I mean how wide it is, not the thickness of the paper, but how, how wide it is. And then you'll also see colored construction paper. That's about the same size, actually, as my white paper. All right, so to get started, we're going to get out a piece of construction paper. And we're using the colored construction paper just because I want you to be able to see um, the, the negative space or the area that's behind your picture. We're also going to start off with a thin piece and again, by thin, I mean how white it is, of uh, white paper. So first we're going to set up our choreograph. We're going to use a pencil and we're going to draw any kinds of designs. Now, a reminder, we're making something for Valentine's Day. So you might consider using some kinds of hearts or something that makes you think about the season that we're in. I'm going to work on drawing a heart And by no means does this need to be symmetrical. So totally rock out your asymmetrical hearts <laughs> if you so choose. I'm going to draw a lightning bolt. And to draw a lightning bolt, some people get kind of tricked up by it. I just start with a zigzag line and then I go back on the other side and do another zigzag line, but just kind of taper them off at the ends. And then I think I'm going to maybe just do uh, some little strips like this. There we go. So th those are the basic shapes that I want to use on my calligraph. Now a calligraph is going to be a raised section on another surface of paper or cardboard. Um, a lot of times people will use cardboard to create a calligraph, but we're just using paper. We're going to keep it pretty thin and pretty simple. You're going to use your scissors next to cut out your images. And, whoops, take your time. Whatever image you cut out and glue on your paper, that's what's going to print onto your next paper. Make sure that you kind of keep a little pile of scraps. So that way we are not creating this in art class. Keep our place looking clean. If you're using your scissors today, I've seen a lot of kiddos getting up out of their seat and walking around with scissors while they're cutting. That is a big no-no. Stay in your seat and cut. Do not walk around the classroom with your scissors. <clears throat> we don't need anybody getting hurt in art class. All right, I do also have Oh, this would be kind of fun scraps to use on my paper, so I might kind of keep those handy because they fill up a nice bit of space. I also cut out some other images today that I'm going to use as well. So we're going to fill in our construction paper surface, keeping our images on the colored background. Okay. Uh, there we go. And I thought these might look fun too. These little scraps. I'm going to just kind of trim it up so it looks a little straighter. There. Cool. Now I kind of like how that's set up on my paper. Can you see? 
cool. We're going to use a glue stick next. By the end of day one, that would be Wednesday, you should have this done. And you will store this in your folder. <clears throat> Go ahead and finish watching the video today, day one, um, just so that if you finish, you know what to do next. Now, when I run my finger across these shapes, I can feel a slight bump, and that is what's going to help us create a really cool print. I'm working pretty quickly. Um, please, though, take your time. I am speedy because I do this every day, all the time. <laughs> I'm well practiced. Okay, so there we go. I've got my calligraph. Cool. I love it. Take my glue stick. Take it all down. There we go. Now, um, probably for day two, um, if you're really fast day one, you're going to take your white paper. Now remember, it's the same size as your construction paper, but this time we're going to use a white one and we will be laying it on top of our choreograph. First though, let's go ahead and real, real small like, I put my name down there in the corner, I'm gonna lay it right on top. And we are going to need some of those crayons um, from the front of the classroom. Let me go grab those real quick. I've got a tub of crayons that do not have any paper on them. You'll want to use the crayons that are um, your color, cho uh, color of choice. If I can talk today, <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna rock these three colors out right here. Lay them on their side so that they are rolly, and then we're going to rub them back and forth across our surface. It's a little bit difficult to kind of control the outside area of where your crayons going it does get a little bit on the outside but this really creates kind of a cool effect when you go back over certain sections with different colors work on blending and all that cool stuff my lightning bolt there. It's probably a little harder for you to see just because it's yellow. I'm gonna go back in and get a little bit of this pink inside of my heart. There we go. Cool. So that would be kind of towards the end of day two. Make sure you take your choreograph off so that it doesn't stick. And I'm gonna go back in and just kind of color in the uh, background a little bit more. Just so I can make that uh, lightning bolt pop out there a little bit and fill in my paper with color. So that is your choreograph. And it is a really rad, totally cool Valentine to give to someone. So think about who you might wanna give it to. All right, art friends. That's all I've got for you this beautiful Wednesday and Thursday. I hope that you'll take your time, do your very best, and treat our guest teacher like gold. Bye for now.